Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So this one is a weekend vlog. I wanted to take you guys along my Saturday and Sunday. As always, I really hope you guys enjoy it and stay tuned for a little mini update in the middle of this video. Oh, this banana is not so ripe. Hey guys, happy Saturday and welcome to today's vlog. Finally, I'm doing my first ever park run. So basically, park run is like this 5k run that happens all across the globe in loads of different locations. It's entirely free. You can just rock up, do a 5k run. I've always wanted to do one, but I've never done one. And today is the day when we're finally doing our first park run. And then every Saturday, did I say that? Probably not. Hmm, the banana is not great. Hi Holly. Oh, hi Alexa. This Stop. Alexa. Update for today. Stop. Thank you. Um, yeah. Anytime. Yeah. You have to have these barcodes printed off to get like a time and stuff. We've run out of paper, so I had to trim this piece of very thin paper to make it the right size to fit into the printer. It was a bit of a nightmare. Anyway, I need to go downstairs, just spin for a bit, just to warm up the legs. I forgot my barcode. After all that, I had it on my desk under my watches. I put my watches on and I just abandoned the codes, apparently. Um, but anyway, we've arrived. Mum is not doing the race oh, today. obviously not. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not doing today? Yeah, but you kept thinking it was a race yesterday, didn't you? Well, not a race. No, it's a run. It's a it's just a run. run, isn't it? I'm not mm. doing it for a time. I also don't really like the distance 5k because it's short enough that you could do it really fast. But then mm. 5k, it just sometimes feels kind of not long enough to... yeah it's not like a long long run well, where anyway. would you have been in the marathon at this distance 5k how far would you have got i don't know um, i wouldn't have reached the cutty sark yet this is where it starts up here this is actually the field where i did my first ever cross-country race in school um so yeah i also ran through this whole like park thing when i was marathon training so i do know this um park pretty well but obviously now we've done a park run, so we're just gonna jog to warm up. So as you can see, this country park is really hilly and it was also quite muddy, well, really quite muddy in certain places, but it was such a nice vibe, like really chilled and just so many people turned up, some people with their dogs, just so many different people, all different ages. It was so inclusive and it just felt so friendly, which was the best thing. This is apparently one of the hilliest park runs, which is great, um, but it's all on grass, so lower impact and basically coming up to the last k it's also two laps so i'm on my second lap it's so hilly back there and so muddy like i was almost gonna slip literally i do not understand how some people run so quickly through the mud and on downhills anyway this is my very shaky camera footage of me just finishing the 5k run I have just done my park run. My watch said it was like 4.95 kilometers, but I assume they map it out and it is 5K, I don't know. But it was good, first park run. I think people normally say afterwards, but I was kind of like one of the earlier ones to finish. I think I was the first girl or first female. I was pretty proud of that. I didn't want to stand around looking like a lemon. So if I go like more frequently, then I'll maybe get more comfortable with the people that normally go. this cow is it looks like a sheep is so fluffy so when i got back i decided to just do some core strengthening work and later on that day i did have tutoring so i needed to get on fairly quickly so that i could finish this stretch out properly and then make myself a green smoothie for my post-workout or my official breakfast and with my biology notes because i was doing some biology work later that day i have released them they are my university notes but they've just been modified and enhanced for you guys so they have just been released i will leave a link to that down below there is also a discount code 25 percent off because i've just released them and make sure you keep your eyes peeled because loads more will be being posted on my website why do i look like i've walked through a hedge backwards like why is my hair so frizzy today it is gonna be in a low ponytail like the whole of this weekend because if i'm doing climbing and stuff tomorrow i'm not gonna make my hair look nice and curly just to go climbing you know i'm sorry for you guys i'm sorry for myself but I'm actually not even sorry. But I did have my official park results come in. I didn't realise that you didn't actually need a physical copy of the barcode. I just got it up on my phone at the end. They scanned it on my chip thing. I got my time. My official time, my park run time, was 25.49. Congratulations on completing your first park run. Woo, go me. 
Um, and yeah, I finished in 11th place and were first female out of a field of 41 puck runners. I also came first in my age category of 20 to 24 year olds, which is good. Take a look at this week's full set of results. So basically you can then click to see all of the runners. Even though I said to myself, I wasn't running for a time and I wasn't trying to like, you know, go all out sprinting because I'm still trying to ease myself back in having you know had my injury last year and a slight niggle in my knee I still get excited because there are other people around you it kind of spurs you on and it motivates you and that's the good thing about doing like more community runs instead of just doing it on your own because it does kind of push you to run a bit faster and you know like sprint to that finish line instead of just being like, oh no, it's okay. I'll just, you know, jog to the end. That is just me. I go into this like competitive mode and yeah, it is at the end of the day though, just a bit of fun. So if you want to do a park run, if you want to walk it, run it with your dog, do some cany cross, like definitely just find a local park run. Like I now know that this one is pretty hilly, but I want to do some others. Like if I go to different places in the UK, if you haven't already followed me on Strava, all of my runs are basically being uploaded on Strava and you can see what's going on on there. So I am Holly Gabrielle on Strava. So a bit later that afternoon, I just went on a walk to stretch out my legs, get a bit more fresh air. I had a pretty standard holly lunch before my tutoring session at 5 p.m. And before and after that, I managed to fit in a bit of editing of a Bye Holly G video. This is a Nomo bar. It sounds like no missing out. It is vegan chocolate. I got mum a Nomo advent calendar last year. You may have seen it if you watched a Vlogmas. But this is a fruit and nut one. It's so good. It has like a crispy base and raisins. So good. I love chocolate and raisins. Like chocolate raisins such a good combo this base is what i'm talking about there's also a big raisin in this piece <laughs> so good i'm gonna roll out my muscles it's time is that time in the evening my friends we are wearing the avocado socks today i feel like you have to have good pairs of like colored or patterned socks like i just love socks especially very long socks just look at how those socks make a difference to the look to the vibe recently i've had tightness Oh, here, like this bit. Oh, here. It's kind of like quad, but not quad. I'm like getting into it slowly but surely. Like every day I've been ramming this thing into my leg. Ah, wow. Ooh, that's a tight bud. <gasps> I have fallen out of the habit of reading every evening before I go to bed. It's like since the start of 2022. It's just so frustrating because I feel like 2022 has started pretty well like touch wood but no like there has to always be that one thing that just like slips away from you and for me it is reading i just don't understand why like i genuinely don't understand what has happened i always feel like it's when i finish a book and i transition into reading a new book that is when i slip up and that is when it can slowly or quickly will like creep away from me and that is what's happened this year at the start of this year the last book i finished was this one okay like i felt like i finished this ages ago i'm sorry i don't have anything else to say to you about books because i literally haven't read anything and the book i was going to be reading was this v's book another reason as to why i feel like i've fallen out of reading is because this is like my last new book is it well not really there are other books in the house i could read but like i don't have books that i'm looking forward to read like because i haven't done an official book challenge this year i don't know whether i'm doing one i feel like this year i wanted to go and get some books from libraries like borrow books but i am gonna start this next week in the weekly vlog you will see me reading this book so yeah that is my update with reading it's not really an update if you've broken a habit or you've stopped doing something and you need to get back into doing something comment down below what that thing is and we can hold each other accountable and we will rebuild those habits or those routines whatever it is okay <laughs> Okay, so Sunday morning was pretty chilled. I mean, I just went through my usual morning routine and since I've started waking up at 7 a.m. consistently, I just find it so much easier to get out of bed and, you know, just get on. And I honestly love my mornings now, especially when Milk is there with me. And so yeah, I was just doing some emails and also some planning so I could just get on top of next week and make sure I knew what I was doing. Classic Holly vlog, there is banging going on. So if you hear that, it's dad. But anyway, I am just choosing what to wear for climbing. Emily always says that it's really cold in the climbing gym 
and just to wear like leggings and a t-shirt or something so pretty basic but i have a choice of four leggings at the moment four black leggings they were all slightly different i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one who has too many pairs of black leggings and can't pick one of them this is my peach colored gymshark sports bra i'll just wear that because i really like it this is a black t-shirt it's got um, this on the back, which I really like. This is a really cool brand, by the way. These are different pairs of leggings. So I have Organic Basics ones. These are some I haven't worn before. I think they're from, oh yeah, Super Dry. These are taller ones. Um, and then these are Gymshark ones. They're kind of like ribbed. But I think I'll save those to wear with the actual set because I have a sports bra to go with them. I always do this. I always put tops on the wrong way. Okay, not this way around. Layering. We love layering. So I can take off like either the t-shirt um and just have this on or take off this and keep the t-shirt on or go down to the sports bra we have options i like to have different options i've also decided i'm going to sell some of those leggings put them on depop because i do not need that many pairs of black leggings it just makes the decision making process harder the hoover is going on upstairs like everything is happening today but anyway basically i I'm just making myself a quick smoothie. I had to finish off some spinach. The other day, I was very kindly sent another box from Oddbox. I honestly love Oddbox. They take food that would usually be wasted and they send it to you in like big boxes of like fresh fruit and veg. It is so good. Like there is nothing wrong with the food. Food waste is such a huge issue. I actually get really annoyed by how much food we waste. And see, I just love what Oddbox do and what they stand for. I got so much spring onion. Like, look how much spring onion I have growing now in two of these mason jars. So we have an endless supply. I got these four avocados that need to ripen, um, like small oranges. Well, not oranges, but like clementines or something. These, I believe, are grapefruits. And then I got two mangoes. Like, look at these mangoes. I got sent two of them and they are perfect. Like, this would have normally been wasted, which is honestly crazy. This is purple kale. I honestly love this stuff. Um, some greens, cauliflower, apples. Honestly, so much in this box. This is not an ad at all, but they sent me a really nice note and they actually gave me a discount code for you guys. You can get 50% off your first box, which is so good if you use the code HOLLYGW. So I will leave that down below. As I said, it's not an ad. They just very kindly sent me a discount code. Okay, so cue the climbing footage and I haven't been since like last year but we are still tap tap tapping that foot to make sure that the hold is secure enough for me to step on but yeah I can't believe I've only been bouldering once before this obviously this is Dan showing me how to do it he is honestly so good he makes it look so easy which is really frustrating but yeah it was really fun I can't believe it had been so long since I first tried bouldering so if you weren't familiar with bouldering, basically you have different levels and those levels are indicated by the different colors. So this is M doing a blue kind of snake climb, which is pretty difficult. I couldn't do that one. And I also was defeated by quite a few other climbs. I reached the top. Yeah, really good. That's it, come on, come on. Yeah, nice. Yes. Just bring that foot up, left foot. That's so scary. <laughs> we are at the climbing gym. Yeah. Say hi, Dan. Do you mind being in the vlog? No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a bit late now. It's like 5pm, we've been climbing, 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 up high, across, you know. There are different levels, like the easiest is pink, and then it goes purple, and then yellow. yellow. And orange. And then orange. I haven't yet been able to do a yellow. This is a sunshine smoothie, mm -hmm. and we have a My Vegan bar, and water. Mm. Yeah, that's nice, it's like coconut -y. It's like a pina colada, it's like a pina colada. Okay, before anyone's really confused, I don't drink alcohol, no, but if I had to choose a mocktail, as in a mocktail, not a cocktail, I would always go for a pina colada. They are so good. But anyway, this is Emily and Dan, the cute couple that they are, climbing. And this is the traverse wall where you don't go up, you just go horizontally. And this is my very interesting position, but sometimes it does help to be quite flexible when you're climbing so you can reach the different holds. And here I was doing a yellow level climb. Even though the holds weren't yellow, it was still ranked as a yellow in terms of difficulty. <laughs> Is that yellow? Yeah, it's yellow. Red holds. But the actual yeah, green was yellow. 
Thank you, dude. Okay, so this is yet another very interesting position I found myself in, we could say. But, you know, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy a bit more climbing footage. And the last few climbs I actually attempted, I couldn't complete them. The wall was just defeating me at the end, especially on the harder climbs. So the yellow ones. And yeah, they were just really difficult. I got the train. It was so cold. It's so windy today. That's what makes it so cold. But I'm going back now. I feel really kind of like chalky because you kind of climb and you get chalk everywhere. Because it uses a lot of like upper body strength, like your whole body is involved in climbing. I feel like we might feel it tomorrow in the upper body and my hands. Like it's just really hard on your hands, but it was really good. I actually did an orange climb at the end. It was an easy orange climb, like on the easier side, but I did an orange climb. I feel like it's bungee jumping, right? Bungee jumping in Australia has, I don't know, instilled in me this fear of heights or this fear of going up high and then jumping down. Like I don't like jumping down. And especially when I get tired in my body, I don't trust myself and I don't trust that I'm gonna like grab onto stuff and hold and pull my body up so i do end up just like kind of giving up not giving up but i'm just like my body just doesn't feel like it's ready to do this and i don't feel confident enough in myself but i tried my best it was really fun and yeah if you haven't tried bouldering it's really good i have not really been on my phone today it was just so nice to just spend a day just like doing something different it's felt like a proper weekend for me but anyway that's just me update. The cap that I wore to go in, by the way, was the Nana cap. Um, I should say, as you can see, it says Nana here. We do have Nana caps still available, so I will leave a link actually to that below. And Emily and I were talking today about planning some new Nana stuff. If you want a cap as we're going into summer, this is what you want in your life. I finally reset my hair at the end of the weekend, and obviously Holly Berlin had to return with the hair plopping situation going on. I was just making myself some dinner, dancing at the same time, playing with Bali and Java, and yeah, I was just using up some leftovers. But yeah, we had a great time in the kitchen, as you can see. I went to bed way too late the other day on Sunday. I don't know why it got so late, but anyway, this is me now on Wednesday, actually. Right? I forgot to end the video, okay? So I just wanted to do so now. I hope you enjoyed following my Saturday and Sunday. I didn't actually film my full week, so I thought I would just take you along my weekend instead. And yeah, as I said at the start of this video, I have released my biology notes. They are now live on my website. There is just one set available at the moment. It's an undergraduate's guide to cancer, but loads more will be coming. And if you have any like topic requests, feel free to comment those down below, comment on my biology videos, send in an email on my website. However you want to contact me, just tell me what you want to look for. But I have loads of notes on different topics that I will release and I will try and work out a way to notify you guys if you want to know when new products are released on my website. It's taken a bit of time just for me to put together the first few sets of notes and work out how I actually do this online. I'm sorry it's therefore taken a while but it is finally live and again there is a discount code that's valid until Friday this week. You can get 25% off if you use the code BiHolyG25. Obviously I have Holygemia, I have BiHolyG and this is just another way for me to share biology with the world which is what I want to do. But that's all from me in this video. I will see you very soon for another one as you guys know i have my annual valentine's day videos videos there will hopefully be multiple this year but yeah i hope you're excited for that i am definitely very excited definitely like this video if you enjoyed it comment down below subscribe if you're new and hit the bell so you know when i upload and yeah you finally got to see the curls in this video like the curls are back but yeah i will speak to you as always very soon in another video You're going to get very muddy trains, aren't you? Because it's already running all yeah. over the grass. Yeah, do I have toothpaste on right now? Anyway, it's cold, so I don't know. Oh, this is a lovely look. But basically, I have my park resort results come in. What am I trying to say? Like, basically, why can't I get up? My best day. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, I love it when you do it.